In this video, we will look at how to add custom JavaScript to the task builder in order to augment the functionality that we provide through the graphical user interface. So let's have a look at this task. Um, it's a really simple task. We've got some instructions and then we've got our task, which is actually a digit span task. We're going to see a series of digits and then you have to record them. Now, uh, let's just have a look at this. And what I hope you can hear is that there's some music playing in the background. But when I click the next button, the music goes away. And what I want to happen is I want the music to continue to play um, throughout the task to act as a sort of distractor to, um, to the recall task. So how can we do that? So the first thing to do is to go to here, um, the documentation page. And here on the documentation page, under tutorial tasks, you'll see this section here, task building, task builder script examples. And in here, there are lots and lots of task builder script examples that are all provide showing different ways of augmenting the functionality that we provide in Gorilla through some script. And one of the examples here is adding an audio element for background music. Demonstrates using the script to add a custom audio element to the page to play background music throughout a task. So that's what we're after today. So let's have a look at this one. You can just go and have a look at the script, which is here. Um, and we'll have a look at that in more detail in a moment. But the one thing that's really important to do is press the preview. Because when you press the preview, you'll see some instructions from us. So you must follow these setup instructions in order for the script to work in your task. And let, let's just see what happens when I press next. Ah, the music continues playing, which is exactly what we want. So let's have a look at those instructions again. So we're going to copy and paste the entire script from this task to your own task script tab. And in your task, we're going to upload an audio simile we wish to use we're going to remove any audio zones and then in our task we're going to go to the script tabs and follow the instructions. Let's have a go. So I'm going to go here to the script page and I'm sure you know these shortcuts already but if you press Control A, Control, I always think of that as Control All, it selects everything on that page. That works in um, Word or Excel as well, and then press Control C, which will copy it. And then I'm going to go into my version of the task over here, and I'm going to click on script, and I'm going to paste it into here. So that's all pasted into there. Now, one of the other things it said to do was to remove any audio zones. So I'm going to have a go at that here. Uh, I'm going to edit this layout, go to this audio zone and remove it, okay. And then here in the script section, I need to do the last thing. I just need to remember the name. Here's the file name that I need in my stimuli, my background music mp3. And here I'm going to go into the script. Now, the important things to look at here are there'll always be a title, play audio track through tasks. That's what this does. There'll always be a little copyright notice that this um, script is provided as is and without any warranty. Um, then on script details, it will tell you a little bit about how this script is written. Now this bit is only really interesting to people who are, who are into coding and are wanting to look at the script examples to see how um, various commands in our API are used so that they can use them in a different context. Um, but that's, there, that's useful if you're wanting to learn scripting from these script examples. The bit that's really useful if you're not interested in that is this script specific disclaimer. Make sure you read this it will tell you the sort of hazards associated with using this script. So in this case, it says this script doesn't account for a participant refreshing the page. So if the participant, while they're taking part in your experiment, has to refresh the page at any point, which um, would only happen if the experiment times out for some reason, then the audio element will be restarted from the beginning. 
Um, and then here under user requirements, it will tell you what you need to do. So for this script to function correctly, you'll need to, we just need to change the value of audio track to match the name of the audio that you want to play during the task. So here on the stimuli page, this is the audio track I want to play. And I, I think you saw me do this earlier, but I'll copy it again. So I'll press control C. And now if I go down here, here's the value. Now at the moment, I've got that one, so I'm gonna replace that with this one. My background music.mp3. Now below here, it says main script. And unless, read this, unless you want to change the functionality of this task, you do not need to alter anything below this line. So below this line, this is all the bits that we've written, which will do the job that you want it to do. We've commented it quite thoroughly so that you can learn, if you want, how to interact with the Gorilla API. But ordinarily, you don't need to change anything under the main script. There are, in fact, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines of code, pretty much. So it's a pretty short script. Now, let's have a look. Is my task now working? my music is playing and when I press next it continues so it's working so hopefully that shows you hopefully that shows you how you can add a script to a task